Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. Now before we get into this video I want to say an absolute massive 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 thank you to all you guys. Um, I've had um, a load of uh, comments uh, recently not so much on uh, this project or this um, not this video but previous videos on this project but just other stuff in general um, also on Facebook and on Instagram um, you guys have um, you know have given some really nice comments um, and it's been great it's been really uh, you know, massive uh, morale but not a really particularly needed one but it has been a bigger boost um, and just sort of you know makes me feel like this is actually still worth um you know just doing all you know the channel and you know my pages and everything um to be fair i probably wouldn't stop even if you didn't uh so, <laughs> but no I, honestly guys i really do appreciate it it's uh, you know it's been great it's been really nice seeing those comments um so again thank you so much for those and all the guys uh well, i say all the guys some of the guys that have <laughs> have um, donated through PayPal. I thank you guys ever so much. It really does help, um, you know, me moving forward, uh, particularly with the channel. Obviously, everything um, that is donated comes straight back into this, um, you know, and, and just, again, helps me along um, with, with doing the channel and what I do here. So, in today's video, this is going to be episode uh, two, and we are going to be looking at uh, the main cab, um, we're going to be building all that up and we'll also be painting the interior uh, as well and I'll be doing a little bit of chipping and also I'll just very quickly glaze over um, some of the lighting because of course we did that uh, in the previous episode. So grab yourself a nice brew and a bicky and I'll catch you in a minute. So we start off with the uh, I'm going to call it a control suite. I don't know if that's the right terminology for it, but basically all the controls for the dozer all uh, done and put into place. And I must say, it's got some absolute fantastic detail. You might remember me saying uh, in the um, kit review that, you know, it's so nicely detailed. Um, you know, you don't really need um, the upgrade kit uh, for it. Plus again, like I said, it's going to be quite difficult to you know be able to see this once it's all put together once we put all the um control stuff um in on this uh, main sort of bed of the uh, the cab if you like um you know all slots in and, and and to be fair clips you don't really need glue to be honest with it fitting quite well um chairs uh, both chairs also again they fit um together really nicely so you can see the chairs they also fit in uh, quite nicely they won't be glued in just yet because they're going to be easy for me to paint all this separately now if you remember in the review uh, video there was a lot of ejector pins these aren't actually going to be seen uh, very well. As you can see, the middle bottom one, uh, I've drew a line there. That's where some of the controls, um, you know, cover that. So I wasn't going to worry about it. I had a little bit of a go um, at some of the other ones. But again, as you can see, painted up, you know, they're not very uh, noticeable. And there is one or two that I just, to be honest with you, really just didn't bother with. So next I've masked, it, masked off the uh, floor of the cab um, and uh, the wall to keep all those uh, white. I think this is kind of right. Um, I've seen many different photos um, and there's you know a few different versions of the way this was painted up. Um, but I'm gonna, you know, this is mask out the floor, um, some of the wall and the main uh, part of the control console is going to be a kind of olive drab colour. So for the kind of instrument panel, um, I'm going to use some of the decal 
that's there and the rest I'm going to paint so what I've got on that decal there I'm going to use as like a reference photo for some um, of the parts particularly uh, the, the top part of the panel um, and one of the parts um, in the top right hand corner there um, as you can see just using that as like my uh, reference photo because that decal wouldn't conform to all that um, as one singular decal um, so uh, most of the stuff that's on there I'm going to sort of you know cut up a little bit and um, you know stick that down into place so there you can see where I've um, you know the decals I did use um, just to make it and help it conform I use micro uh, salt to soften those decals and conform to the control panel so for the chipping uh, on the inside I used a relatively sort of like a blacky uh, gray color uh, for that chipping um, and then went around uh, the panel with dark brown wash uh, from uh, AK it was really nice first time I've used it um, the stuff is supposed to be for green but I've used it for quite a few of the bits and pieces uh, around the rest of the cab now we did a little bit of chipping um, sort of like surface chipping as well um, so basically that was using the sort of uh, light and olive drab uh, that I already um, had to, to paint um, added a little bit more um, I used buff um, uh, for this and made a few little chips and then again as you can see this is how we did um, the rest of the cab using that sort of blacky um, grey um, for you know sort of deep chips uh, if you like and just filling in some of those uh, ones I use with the sponge uh, and for the rest around the cab I just sort of freehanded it if you like And there you go uh, that's basically how I chipped it it's really nice and, and simple and, and gives really good results then for the wash again using that dark brain uh, from AK um, just you know straight out of the bottle put it into the recesses it's quite um, you know quite a thin um, uh, paint wash um, it's very well thinned down so you could actually just put a little dab in and it should you know capillary action should take it in you know all the recesses to sort of clean it up a little bit um, just some white spirits um, just a little bit like on a damp brush you don't want loads because you will take this all away and then all we need to do is just push this back into all the recesses now you can a little bit make this into um, a little bit of a filter but it's not really designed for that so it's, it's one of those it kind of works it does dull down uh, your paint job a little bit and you know just just give that really nice effect of you know just well used dirt and grime that accumulates in these type of vehicles now for the chairs I have painted these uh, pretty much straight up black uh, and I'm using the good old uh, sponge technique so what I did was is I just added a little bit of white to my black paint to make a sort of, you know, relatively light grey. Yet at the moment it is quite stark, it is really, you know, quite bright, um, but we will turn that down um, in a little bit. And again, the same as I did with the rest of the chimping, um, I used a paintbrush, made some of them chips a little bit bigger, um, added a few sort of squiggly lines for sort of uh, creases this is all just trying to sort of emulate a sort of um, used weather uh, leather uh, chair so to tone it all down I used uh, Tamiya's accent accent panel liner um, and just gave it just a full-on wash um, all over uh, the seat and this will basically tie all this all together 
and you know doesn't make all those the chipping that I've done um, so stark. Right then, so we've got all the cab all put together and as you can see in the top there, I've added a couple of LED lights. Um, I had to sort of figure this out a little bit before the whole thing went together because it's going to be very difficult for me to try and fish this wire through as it kind of needs to go down and slightly to the side towards the um, you know middle uh, part. So as you can see there, I've, I've run it down just before I put um, some of that bodywork on there and fished it out the bottom. Um, so we've got some wires to play with. All that I'd need to do again after this is um, put a couple of resistors on each one um, as hope not to, to blow uh, the lights out. And as you can see, even though it's, it's flopping all over the place, the door uh, is openable and so is the side and I will leave them um workable uh, as such so i can have the option of having them closed or open to to show off as you can see you can see a little bit in there and you can see how dark it is so with a bit of luck these lights will you know illuminate it enough that we can have a good look inside i'll also as you can see there's a top hatch that will also um, be workable as well and then once we've got everything all pretty much buttoned up it's just time to put all the uh, small details like the handles and I assume those are like lifting hooks I don't know but loads loads and loads of little bits of detail and once this is all done it's um, you know it's really really nice now the windows I'm not gonna mask because the windows actually come with a clear film so what I've done is I've sandwiched them in glued them all into place and then with the extremely sharp knife um cutting around uh, the window frame um in the hope that once we've painted it all they'll come off and we won't have any paint bleed and of course you can see me now putting the um top hatch on and again i've left it so it's all nice and workable so just around the cab alone, there's a lot, a lot of stuff uh, to put on, uh, like these um, st uh, platforms, work platforms, which would, uh, not in the case of the model, they haven't done it like this, but, you know, that they, they would flip out. I had planned on uh, painting these uh, separately, but I decided in the end it was just more work than it was worth, so just glued those all into place. And one of the only couple of brass pieces to go on there is the jerry can holder. So there we go my friends, that's uh, the cab all done and dusted. Um, so far it's going together really, really nicely. Uh, and you know, yeah, it, it's, it's been a really nice build uh, so far. Um, nothing in the way of any major uh, fitting issues. It has gone together really, really nicely. So again, thank you guys. Uh, again, like I said at the start of the video for all your comments and donations, it's very much uh, appreciated. Uh, but if you're new around here or you've enjoyed uh, what you've seen and haven't done so already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Of course, if you put bell notifications on, that will also tell you when the next video is out and available. Also, if you do like to help uh, support the channel, there are links in the description down below. And again, thank you guys ever so much and I'll catch you again soon.